Right, welcome back to the channel. Um, we've been merging and we've done a number of changes to our our repository and now it's time for us to, to actually see how we can put back changes that we've made to the original uh, repository that we forked. Uh, for example, here our classic press research master and how we can just bring it back to, to be the same with our, our own fork of the project. It is important for us to have them, uh, both of them, when they match up because if we are to make another change, another pull request or another branch, uh, we'll have merge errors on the other side because some of the merges that have been made on this original repository are missing. So there will be a huge disconnect and that's why we need to actually bring that down. So we're going to change directory into classic commas, which is our plugin folder. In our integrated terminal, we're going to just go in there and start by writing git branch and then uh, we'll see what branches we are available and which branch we are on and we want to go to the master so we'll clear up this to have a clean place and we'll just type out git checkout and then uh, master so that we can go to the master branch and our uh, message is coming in we've switched to our master branch and next what we're going to do is actually uh, now pull down that content from the online server from uh, the original uh, repository that we forked. First things first is uh, we're going to add an upstream just like how we did with original. Upstream is uh, it's going to save uh, our URL so that we don't have to remember it all the time. So we'll do that by adding git remote add upstream then we shall add our particular uh, link to our classic commerce fork um, online. Git allows us to store our links in our repository and forks. We're going to, to save our URL by typing git remote add and then we'll type out the, uh, the name that we're going to use which is upstream and then we shall copy the link from our repository and we shall paste it back into uh, our editor terminal and we shall just paste it in and that will allow us to save the particular upstream that we want and this is the master branch that is available on classic commas. So now we are going to pull down uh, by typing git pull to bring in all those resources um, of the merged content and so on down onto our local repository. So we're actually ready to, we are ready with our changes on our local repository. So next we shall uh, just type out git push uh, to send the information online to our forked repository and we shall type git push origin master and once we do that uh, the information will go up on the server and we are ready so once we go back to our online platform uh, through the browser and reload we'll see that uh, the message comes up and says that this branch is even with a classic press research master so and you can actually see right below that message is that we have what kind of changes were made and which fork it was from and ah, we are good to go so we have everything stored we have everything synced and that's the beauty of open source so you can develop a product uh, by having other people contribute to it thank you for watching see you next time